Step number nine is market using Facebook ads. So now we have our store set up. We have everything on the store nicely configured. And now we're actually going to the point of looking at marketing and uh, on using Facebook ads. So let me teach you how you can get started there. All right, lovely. So I'm just in my Facebook business manager. You can see under the same business manager. And I said that I wanted to create a campaign. So I'm under the ads manager here. Okay, so if we go to the ads manager, let it load. This is the screen you're going to be presented with. You can see today's date is the 16th of December. All right, and um, I'm going to create a new campaign. All right, and it's going to take us to this, this campaign screen. We want to go conversions. All right, and we give the campaign a name. Let's say we're going to call it Blend for Life campaign. All right, we don't want to turn on create a split test campaign based optimization. We're going to leave that off in this case. It's a bit advanced. So we're going to go continue. All right, lovely. So you can see this is a pixel from an old store. Okay, and the conversion event you want to choose is purchase because we're trying to get people that are going to buy from us. Okay, and we want to optimize for conversions. Okay, so we leave that on. We want to scroll down, we leave this field. Okay, the budget, you want to at least spend $10 a day, okay? Um, depending on where you're at, but I would recommend at least $10 a day um, to get started. Okay, so I'm going to set that to $10, and that's $10 preferably in US currency. If your store is in USD, uh, you would want to try and market in USD or the equivalent of. So for me, in Australian to US that's about $15. Okay, so I want to spend about $15 a day to spend the equivalent of $10 US. Uh, we want to leave all these settings as they are. We don't need to touch them. We're going to choose the countries. Um, we're going to choose at least the top five countries. So United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, Australia and New Zealand okay we've got a huge amount of people in these countries 320 million people that we can possibly market to okay now the thing we want to do is we're going to leave um, we're going to change the ages to 25 and up um, and we're going to change it to English all okay because we want to market to those people they have a higher chance of buying from us Okay, and our website is in English. So, of course, we want to market to people that are primarily English. If you have additional languages, yeah, you can change that. But on your store, however, starting out, start as English or. Um, you want to untick this tick box and you want to put in an interest. So, we're selling a blender. Okay, so I, when I think of blender, I think of obviously a blender. But I also think of health. I think of gym. As we saw when we had a look at BlendJet's website, they had a number of men and women that were in the gym, that were working out. So we'd want to choose um, something around that, like Gymshark. Okay, Gymshark is a huge brand um, that has a lot of people that love that brand. And you can see we've got about 20 million people that are interested in Gymshark that we can market our blender to. Okay. And it's important that you do that. I just go one interest and let Facebook do the work. Um, as long as it's in the right part, because everyone knows Gymshark is all around gym, fitness, health, well-being, okay? And this product, our Blend blend for Life, is all around health, fitness, well-being. So it accommodates each other, okay? So that's why we want to choose that type of interest. If you're after more ideas, you can then click suggestions as well and get more other similar related interests that Facebook recommend that you use so that you can target more people, okay? And that's all you need to do there, all right? Very, very easy. I just go with um, known brands, magazines, famous men and women, um, TV shows, um, a broad interest around it. So let's say like health or just gym, or just well-being, okay? You know, when we think um, anything that has a slight relation to it, 
Okay, as an example of something that wouldn't relate to it, if we're marketing a, a blender, we wouldn't want to market this to, let's say, people that are into gaming. Okay, people that are into gaming or dogs. Okay, it's not, you can't really see a correlation there. So we want to have some sort of strong-ish correlation to the type of product that we're marketing. Okay. For placements, we leave as all placements and we go continue. And now this is where we actually make our ad, okay? So you choose your page, whatever that page may be, okay? So you'll have your page um, created and you can also integrate your Instagram account. So in the business manager, you can integrate your Instagram account. We're not gonna do that today. We're not too worried about that by right now, okay? but we can choose the type of ad. Now, generally you wanna choose the single image or video ad, okay? Um, it gives us the most control and most of the products uh, we wanna market as a video, okay? So we're gonna put in the primary text, um, you know, uh, want to make the perfect smoothie in seconds. Uh, check out blend for life that is changing the game. Okay, so your ad copy needs to be sort of on point here. Um, you know, you wanna understand, you wanna try and start with a question generally or something that captivates them, something that relates and captivates them, you know? Wanna make the perfect smoothie in seconds. Who wouldn't wanna make the perfect smoothie in seconds quickly and easily? Okay, check out the blend for life it is changing the game, all right? And you know, um, do, make a smoothie in seconds, make it on the go, fits a, as a cup holder in your car, um, easy to wash, so on and so forth. So we can add all of those benefits to incentivize people into loving our product. Now we can add media from here, so we can add an image. So that, that's just, I don't know, something from this one, that, that add an image from, okay, this one. All right, so we can add an image, let's say it was that, or we can add a video, so clear images, and we can add a video. All right, so let's say that it was this item, okay, this is a, from a, just a test that I did of a um, emoji pillow, okay, and you can see that it's really captivating. Oh my God, this pillow case. All right, so then we wanna give a headline, you know, um, let's say it was the the pillowcase in this instance. Oh my God, this pillow is so cool. All right, you just want to add something like that. I also recommend to use emojis. I use emoji keyboard. Okay, it's a free Chrome extension and you can literally just copy these and then put emojis straight into it. Very, very easy. And if we have a look here, we're going to, um, sorry, if we have a look at the desktop, I don't know why it's not showing it fully. Usually it does. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so you can see here that like that would be a lot more captivating with the emojis, with the color, the love heart. Okay. It's just captivating people's attention. All right. So um, if we go down, you don't need to worry about the description all that much. And you put in what your website URL is. And I recommend sending people to your product page. So the product page that we've made, okay, that on the test store, send them to that page because um, you're going to have the highest likelihood of someone actually buying your product because they're going to land straight on the page and they're going to see your offer, see the product, see the reviews, and they're likely to buy, okay? You don't need to worry about the display link either. You just need to change that, the learn more to shop now because we're doing e-commerce. We want to try and get people to buy our item, okay? So we're, sh we're a shopping related business, okay? Or retail, that's what we wanna do there, okay? And that's all we really need to do, okay guys? You just need to add some primary text, a headline, your URL, so www.dogs.com. Okay, it, it'll then validate that URL because it had a little exclamation mark. And then you can actually, um, you, it'll tell you your tracking again. That was an old test store and you can go confirm. And once you go confirm, okay, it'll confirm the campaign. 
it will then um, publish it all. As we can see here, it's publishing two of three. Okay, and once it's published, we'll see it go from a, um, a sort of a bit grayed out to being in full colored text because uh, it takes a moment for Facebook to publish it. Okay, and now it's in review. So I'm just going to turn it off because we don't want to market it anyway. Um, we've got in review again, and we can see the actual ad that we've made. All right, and that's how you start with Facebook ads. Okay, so now we have the store set up. We have our tracking set up. We now have an ad out there, and now you can start to see what the data is, is telling you, and we have a very high chance of doing very well. Okay, so now I'm going to go into a little bit about influencer marketing to teach you a bit about that as well. Step number 10 is Instagram influencers. Now I wanted to add this in here because influencer marketing is a very good entry point for people and it's also a very, very cheap entry point where people can find these influencers, market to them, or sorry, give them a promoted post, pay them $20, $30 and you might make $100, $200, $500 depending on the influencer. So let's do a little bit of research into that to teach you a bit about influencer marketing and sort of how you can do it yourself. And I'm gonna give you a template as well to help you to try and also find these influencers regardless of the niche you're in to try and market to them accordingly.